What's up, guys? So if you're like me, um, you love timers. I love training with timers. This timer here that you just saw is the timer that I have in my gym. It's my favorite timer. We use it for everything, for our strength conditioning, for our cardio kickboxing, for our Muay Thai martial arts classes. If you are training, then you are doing some kind of interval training. You need a solid timer. Now, this is something new, these little handheld timers. It's a smaller version of the big timers. When you are in a gym, then obviously you have access to these, but they are usually run by whoever's running the classes. When you're on your own or in your home gym, you don't have a timer like that. So recently they've been creating these timers. Are they any good? And should you get one? Check it out. previous video on a timer. Um, it was probably the first one that I had come across last year. And um, it was a serious letdown, not even a little bit of a letdown, but a serious letdown. So I did come across a more affordable uh, and better option on Amazon. Okay, so the timer I was talking about was uh, the, the Timebirds timer. Now, I have a whole video on that. I'll put a card up here, but I did a whole review on this. And this started as a Kickstarter, um, like beginning of 2020. Uh, one, I think end of 2020. So I was very excited about this timer because I don't know, I love timers, uh, like I said in the intro. Um, and I was kind of excited about having a little timer. You know, obviously that seems a little silly. You have a, you can have a timer on your phone. And as a matter of fact, I do have uh, interval timer apps on my phone. So I get that it might seem silly, but if you like a big digital readout, and if you like training with timers and you're using your phone for other things, music, other stuff like that, I don't think you wanna be looking at a timer. Again, it's, this is one of those things where it's not a, a need, it's more of a want or nice to have. But if, I have, if, things, if there are things that I splurge on that I don't need, well, they better be worth the money I spend. And this timer, okay, is $120. And once I posted my review of this timer, a lot of comments came in and I was not the only one dissatisfied. As a matter of fact, from, from the comments on my video of the a review of this timer, people were very unhappy with their purchase. Again, given the price, $120, guys. That doesn't include this rubber case that I bought, which is one of the cooler features. I'm not gonna go into a full review of this timer. This video is not about this timer, um, but I'm gonna use it as a comparison because again, I put the card up. If you wanna watch that video, go ahead. This is the timer I want to talk about is the Slevio. I think I'm saying that right. Slevio, Slevio, interval fitness timer. Okay. Now, after I posted my video of the Timebirds portable timer, a lot of people uh, gave me links and mentioned other timers that they had been using that were more affordable on Amazon. I meant to check out some of those, but then I came across this, the Slevio timer, and this one is only $60. So it's half the price of the more expensive Timebirds. Now, holding them both in my hand, the build quality does seem more solid. This seems like a solid metal. Like I could throw this across the room right now and I feel like if I threw both of these, there's a bit of rattle in this that this one would survive and I'm not confident that this one would. That's one pro for the, build, for the Timebirds and a con for the Slevio. Let's talk about displays. The Slevio is much bigger, not much bigger, it's a little bigger, but I like that. And the display is nice, but the display on the Timebirds, as you saw when I was holding it earlier, is brighter. So this does have a better display, but this does have a solid display. The last thing that the Timebirds kind of beats the, this, this uh, Slevio timer on is the rubber casing, okay? So this has like a, a feels like a plastic casing, okay? The Timebirds comes like this, which is solid. It has like a rubber, rubbery, Thing, but, you, but if you want to, you can purchase these cool cases and they come in all kinds of different colors. So that's a nice little thing, but that adds $20 to your purchase. So it just gets more expensive. Again, nice to have, not really a need. So that's pretty much where the Timebirds is better. Beyond that, this is a better purchase all around. It's half the price. And aside from those, what, three things I mentioned, it's just a better timer. For me, it's bigger. I love that. 
One of the bigger things is I complained about the magnet on here. The magnet on this is way better, okay? When I slap this up onto um, my squat rack or any kind of metal post or anything as I'm working out, it sticks, it holds firm way better than the time birds that you see in some footage that I posted that it just kind of slides. All right, just, I was shocked that it just wasn't as strong. This magnet is way stronger. Another thing is that when you get your time birds timer, you take, get rid of this case because you have to buy this extra, you get this and this, that you get it like this, this course. So you got to figure out a way to carry this. I had an extra bag or whatever that I put, I throw it in. Slevio comes with a nice bag and it's a nice little bag that you can wipe the screen with. Right, it's one of those soft bags that a lot of little pieces of equipment come in, but it's cool, it comes with a bag. Obviously you come with your charging cord, then you've got a little like lanyard thing that you could put on there to kind of hang it if you want to clip it onto your gym bag or something. So it already comes with more than the Time Birds comes with. So it comes with these little extras and that's a little extra sauce that I'm digging. Now two more very key differences that make this more affordable timer, way better than the Time Birds, is why I think this is something you should consider, especially for a $60 price tag, is the volume, okay? The timer, the Time Birds volume was trash, absolute trash. I, when I posted that, and I posted the sound, and all the comments in that video, everyone agreed with it. Everyone was talking about how the sound was just absolutely, a, it's a joke. And if you're in a gym, if you're a crowded gym, if you're in any gym, in my gym where it's not even crowded, it's my gym, no one else is here, but my music is playing in the background, I cannot hear that timer. That's ridiculous. I want that timer like the timer I have on the wall. I want that so loud it's annoying. Let's have a listen to this timer. Okay, not the loudest thing you've ever heard, but way louder than Time Birds. And loud enough, it meets my needs. The last thing that really sets this above the Time Birds, and this was my one of my, God, if not my biggest complaint, is that when you set intervals or you set times in your Time Birds, it doesn't save. So when you turn it off, every time you turn it on, you have to reprogram the interval that you were using. Whether it's an interval or a up timer or a down timer, or you know, obviously you wouldn't set a time for a stopwatch, but all those things when you're doing, you had to go back in and reprogram. So you had to take the time. However minimal the time was, it was just time. It just seemed like that was silly that this did not have the feature of saving the intervals that I had previously put in there. Even better yet, both of these timers should consider having options to save multiple intervals. I don't know if that's pushing the price range a little bit because that kind of, that requires more technology software. I don't know, okay? But... Whatever you programmed last in the Slevio timer, it does stay in there, okay? That's a win for me in comparison to this that doesn't save anything. So, I'm gonna recommend for $60, you buy this timer if you're looking at these portable interval timers, which I think are really cool, I dig it. As you can see in, in the footage that I, I'm posting here, like I can use it for a lot of, I can and I do use it for a lot of things. You know, interval timers, you can, you can use them in all types of workouts, strength and conditioning, uh, martial arts, combat sports, and sh uh, again, strength and conditioning, functional fitness. So I dig this, man, and I really enjoy using them. So I, I really am happy that I found one that actually works the way I wanted to. The biggest con I have, um, which I mentioned earlier, was is the build. Like As I'm shaking it, it does rattle a little bit. So I, I, I fear that if I shake it or knock it down, something's going to knock loose in there. But... It hasn't so far, and again, it's half the price of this. Now, I will say, Time Birds has released multiple versions, like newer versions. I checked their website recently, and it's still $120 for this and $20 for this, so you're looking at $150 at least, or $140 at least, but probably $150. Um, I don't know if as they've upgraded their, ver their new versions, version two, version three, version four, whatever, if they fixed the issues that they had. I was excited about this product and I, and I purchased it during the Kickstarter campaign and I had to wait until they actually built it and sent it to me. So I was of the first version of this thing. So I don't know, man, but I was so like upset about what they provided, even in the initial version that I just wasn't even, I'm not even willing to go back and try the newer versions, especially if I can get something of this quality for half the price. All right, guys, so check it out, okay? If you're looking for a portable interval timer, this is what I'm recommending right now. This is, this is what I'm using right now. It's pretty dope, okay? Obviously, I'll put the link in the description below.
As always, man, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, keep fighting for fit, no excuses, and we'll see you in the next video.